Hi, I'm Mike Shackelford, otherwise known as the Wizard of Odds, and these are my top 10 mistakes that slot machine players make. In this video, I'll go over uh, the first five, and please see part two for the second five. Uh, number one, the biggest mistake that slot players make is playing slot machines in the first place. Uh, it could be argued that slots are the worst bet in the casino. They know they don't have the highest house advantage, but they play fast, very high rate of play. So when you look at losses per hour, slot machines will cost you a lot of money. Uh, the house advantage is going to be about 10% for video slots, but again, uh, you can play these games uh, 500 to 1,000 bets an hour, so your losses will really add up over time. So I have been trying to convert slot players to video poker or any other game for 20 years now. I don't know that I have any converts yet, but it's my calling to at least try. So if you are open-minded to the idea at all, please, slot machine players, consider switching to video poker. You can play video poker badly and still lose less money than you will at slot machines. But I would highly encourage you to study proper strategy in video poker anyway, which I talk about on my website and other videos. So again, the biggest mistake is playing slot machines in the first place. However, Every slot player I've ever met just seems to be born a slot player and that's all they like and that's all they can do. So if you must play slot machines, my next nine tips will be about how to avoid some of the biggest mistakes and hopefully lose less money as you play. So the second mistake is playing in tight casinos. And I'm sure you're going to ask me, Mike, how do I know which casino is tight and which one isn't? Well. A good rule of thumb is that the fancier the casino, the tighter the slots. Um, I don't want to name any names, but here in Las Vegas, the big fancy casinos on the Strip, and I've studied this, tend to have tighter slots, and the older ones uh, tend to be a little bit looser. Also, if you get away from the Strip uh, to some of the neighborhood casinos in Las Vegas, the slots are going to be a lot looser. So again, the nicer the casino, the tighter the slots. It's not a 100% correlation, but it's a pretty strong one. And I think of it as that if you're in one of these big fancy casinos, ultimately it's you who is paying for the billion dollars that cost that casino to be built. The absolute worst place you can possibly play slots is the Las Vegas or the Reno airports. Those are set as tight as they're allowed to. So even if you have a lot of time to kill, absolutely stay away from the slots in the airport. Number three, overplaying. If you must play slot machines, please try to keep it in moderation. As I said before, slot machines have a very fast pace to them, so it's a quick way to lose your money. So if you must get your fix, get your fix and quit playing. Uh, try to budget as little time as possible for playing and try to bet as little as possible. Number four, playing participation slots. What is a participation slot, you might ask me? Well, those are called participation slots because the slot maker and the casino itself participate or share in revenues of the game. How can you tell a participation slot? It's usually branded to some TV show or movie. For example, Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, Sex and the City, Games like that that have really big signage um, and uh, fancy sounds and graphics, these games cost more to make and they have to pay royalties to that whatever the TV show or movie is. All of that costs money and you, the pay player, pay it. So if you don't want to pay all that extra money, um, then you should be playing the simpler games. Like, uh, like Buffalo, for example. Something that is small and it's not branded to a particular movie or TV show that they're going to have to give a cut of the money to. As a rule of thumb, participation slots only return 85% of your money bet, which is terrible. If you play, say, an ordinary video slot, it's going to be more like 90%. 
So it's much better to lose 10% of whatever you bet than 15%. And trust me, um, over time it really does make a difference. So keep it simple. Number five, not using a player card. At almost any casino, they're going to have a place where you can register for a player card. This is especially important to do if you're a slot player because since slot players lose the most money, they're the most valuable to the casino and they're the ones they give the best comps to. So before you bet a dollar in a slot machine, make sure you have a registered and have a player card and put it in the machine. Make sure the machine reads it properly and it'll say something like welcome Michael when you do. So you at least get something back for the hundreds or thousands of dollars in value of play you give to the casino. They'll, they will probably give the rule of thumb is one third of that back to you in the form of comps. So it's nice to get the niceties the free rooms, the free shows, the free buffets, the free tournaments, you name it. Casinos treat slot machine players really well because they lose so much money. So make sure you get that player card and put it in properly. So that was part one of my top 10 mistakes that slot machine players make. Uh, please see part two for the uh, second part of the list. And for all kinds of uh, information about slot machines, please see my website wizardofodds.com.